this video I'm going to show you the various options that are available to um, build up a UK proxy list. Now lots of people use proxy servers now um, to for different reasons. A uh, bit of an anonymity online, um, some privacy, hide your real IP address, but a lot simply use it to um, bypass the various blocks people have uh, against some of the big media sites. Uh, for instance in uh, America if you want to watch Hulu or use Pandora, the um, online um, radio station, uh, stuff like that, you need to be based in the US. Uh, without a US IP address, you can't um, watch anything like HBO or NBC. Uh, same with the UK. Uh, the, most of the big media sites here, well, in fact, all of them, uh, BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, Channel 4, Channel 5, um, won't work unless you're based in the UK. A proxy is a way of bypassing this because a proxy server sits between you and the server you're visiting and if it's a UK server it'll look like you're in the UK. So thousands and hundreds of thousands of people use it to watch things like BBC iPlayer. But of course it needs to be in the UK. There's no point using a, a French proxy or a German proxy server uh, for UK based um, sites. They just won't work. So how can you build a list of um, UK. Where can you find a list of UK proxies? Well, I'm going to give you three options here. Um, the completely free version, the um, sort of part cheaper version, and the subscription service. Okay, none of them very expensive. Obviously, the free ones the cheapest. Uh, the free one is you can go to a site that pulls in lots of free proxies across the world. There are a few sites like this. One of the oldest uh, ones has been around for at least a decade, quite a bit more, I think. It's called Proxy.org. Um, Proxy.org just picks up loads of free web and SOX proxies from across the world. Uh, it updates a few times a day. Uh, there's thousands and thousands of servers. Um, you have to be careful with these servers. Remember, they're free servers. Mostly, they're either supported by advertising, so people put like insert adverts into your browsing and stuff like that to pay for them, <coughs> or they're misconfigured servers. People have left a server open and it's had a proxy um, service installed in it, or they've accidentally left it open. Uh, you've got to be careful because um, they're not secure. These so please only use them for browsing. Um, media sites don't log on to PayPal email bank accounts using these proxies it's very dangerous to do just use them for streaming media or something like that uh, you might find issues well you will find issues with speed because they're obviously they're free they're overloaded a bit but um, you can find some fast ones if you search around okay <clears throat> so that's proxy.org uh, right sorry I should mention that the reason I recommend proxy.org is it's got this it's if you go down, they actually sort um, the web proxies and the SOX proxies by country. So you can actually look down and find the UK-based ones and use those. Okay, that's proxy.org. I'm going to close that now. Uh, another option is to use something called a proxy harvester. This, again, will search for free proxies. Again, the same thing applies about security. Be very careful with using them. But you see proxy, this is called Scrapebox. And this is a proxy harvester. There's a few. It's um, It costs a one-time fee. You don't pay a subscription or anything, but you buy it the first time. And it searches for different free proxies at that moment in time. It lists the IP address, the port you need to connect to, and the, how fast it rates them. Okay? And you can take one of these addresses and the port number and um, go and put it into your browser. Oops, let, it will go into your settings. If you, I'm mean, using Chrome here, but it's in similar. Go down to where you find the network settings. There we go, network. You should find something about proxies. And Internet Explorer is the same as this. Um, Firefox is slightly different. Go to LAN settings and you'll find there a, a section called proxy service. So click that box, type in the address of the proxy server and the port it's using, and then OK and restart your browser. Again, please, please take, they're not safe, these. Some of them might be, some of them won't, but never use it for anything. Take these settings out as soon as you've finished watching the BBC or whatever, yeah? Um, okay, so let's close that. And um, so, why do we do it? This is what we get our message. If we're trying to access um, BBC iPlayer and you're outside the UK, as I am at the moment, 
this is what happens you get this message okay so let's close it and let's show you the third option the one I use if you can it's it's a small monthly subscription and it takes all the hassle out of it and you get a network of fast proxy servers they're actually nearer to VPN servers because you can encrypt them if you want but um, that's not part of this demonstration so let me just show you here it sits in the taskbar it's not enabled at the moment but whenever I need a proxy so if I want to watch a US one or a UK one I bring it up here and click OK and connect and that will connect me to uh, a UK server I'm now connected to a UK proxy server one of identity cloakers okay it'll sit in my taskbar and now all my browsing will go through here now let me start up my browser again and let's go back to BBC iPlayer I'll refresh this because BBC iPlayer gets a bit funny sometimes and um, now we'll watch Doctor Who um, this time it should work because um, I'm going through a UK proxy so let's just press OK and you can see it works perfectly again the advantages are we know that these are completely safe you can you should do your browsing through these if you want because it encrypts your entire connection use it when you're traveling I'll just close that uh, and using unsecured Wi-Fi maybe in a, a cafe or a hotel or something uh, by all means th this this is secure so you you should really um, if you want to log on to banking PayPal email sites use identity cloak when you're traveling so you can enable it and disable it as you like um, it's very fast so it won't impact on your speed so it won't slow your browsing down in any more in any way okay so that's identity cloaker um, I'll put a link to it in here and there's a discount code that should appear on the screen somewhere in the video and um, that's it UK proxy list three options I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching goodbye